quick demonstration of the way in which you can use Photomatix Pro and Lightroom to do a uh, exposure blend of five different exposures. So what I've done is I've taken um, five images of the same scene at different exposures. The reason behind this is because we've got what we call a backlit scene. You know? In other words, the strong light's actually coming from the background. And if your camera were to do a normal exposure for this, you'll get an image that looks a little bit like that, where we get a bit of detail in the sky, but the foreground roots looks really dark. And the histogram basically backs this up. We've got dark detail and not a lot of um, bright detail coming in there. Now, if you wanted to basically do an exposure for the sky, we'll have to underexpose. So this one is an exposure taken for the sky, and it's two stops underexposed. And you'll notice that the histogram basically veers all the way to the left-hand side. Hence, we have a lot of shadow, a lot of loss of detail in the foreground, but we get that kind of detail in the sunset. And we'll take another slightly underexposed image. This is taken at minus one underexposure. And you'll notice that we, we begin to see a little bit more of the foreground, um, and there's a bit more detail revealed in the sky and the sunset. Then what we want to do is actually begin to open up the detail in the foreground so that we can see the detail in what was once in shadow. So we take one at one stop overexposed. Now the sky is going to be blown out, but now we begin to see the detail in the foreground, in the buildings, in the boats. But we want to open up more of that. We want to show more of the detail in the shadow. So we take another one, and this is actually at two stops overexposed. And you see right away that the sky is completely blown out we have no detail of that sunset, and that's backed up by the histogram over here. Um, but we, we basically open up a lot of shadow detail in the foreground, under the boats, in the buildings, and even in the hill right behind the buildings itself. So all we need to do now is basically select all five of those exposures. They're taken on a tripod, so there's very little movement between the frames, and open them up in Photomatix Pro, which is a program that can be used to blend or fuse your exposures. Okay, now we are ready to blend the five exposures using Photomatix Pro. So what we do is we select the five exposures in Lightroom and we go to File, Plugin Extras, Export to Photomatix Pro. Now what I'm going to do is actually get Photomatix Pro to remove ghosting in the image. Ghosting is where if there is slight movement um, in certain parts of the frames between the five exposures, and if you blend them together, you're going to have the appearance of ghosts. So for example, if you've got someone at one point in one frame, and then you take the next exposure, and that person has moved to another point, when you blend them, you'll have this ghostly image of a person um, in two or three spots um, in the actual picture itself. So what I want Photomatix Pro to do is to actually remove the ghost. So I'm going to select that option. Now what I often do as well is make sure that the output format is in TIFF, 16-bit file just so that I've got plenty of information to work with when I bring that blended image back into Lightroom for further post-production. So having selected show option to remove ghosts, I click export and Photomatix Pro will begin to export, I uh, will basically import the uh, five images from Lightroom. Okay, it's aligning the source images and the first screen it's going to show me is the option to remove the ghosts. Now you'll see that it's pre-selected one of the frames as the main frame for deghosting. So if I, was, if I were to basically say I want a lot of deghosting going on, let's say about 95%, you'll see that what Photomatix Pro has done is used um, this frame as a reference point and deghosted anything that basically wasn't in this frame. So if I drop the deghosting, you can see that the boats look a bit fuzzy, the water looks a bit fuzzy, when I increase the deghosting to about 95, you'll notice everything just sharpens a little bit more because it's using this frame that was taken at a tenth of a second as a reference point. Once I'm happy with that, I click OK and Photomatix Pro will now detect and remove ghosts in a non-paranormal way and merge the, the exposures into a high dynamic range or HDR image. Right, so immediately you'll see that the uh, histogram looks a little bit more balanced and that you can actually play around with some of the uh, sliders. I won't go too much into the sliders here, but what I've done is I've raised the midtones and raised the brightness and just increased the strength of the actual exposure of the uh, image itself just to balance the histogram up between the darks and the brights. And I'll go and save and re-import it back into Lightroom for further processing.
Right, and now we are back in Lightroom with the blended image. You'll notice straight away that the histogram looks fairly nicely balanced, so I can actually do a number of Lightroom tweaks on it. I could raise the exposure somewhat, bring down the highlights to recover detail in the sky, add a bit of contrast, a little bit of clarity to give it a bit more structure, and then just raise the shadows a little bit. And I might just warm the image up a little bit just so that it looks a bit more like a sunset type image. Now, because there's a bright point in the image, I'll just raise the white point up there. Just drop that down a little bit more. And that's the blended image. Now, if you were to compare the blended image with the original frame that a camera would have captured with its, with, with its sensor, you'll notice a dramatic difference in terms of the detail that we can see in the shadows and the detail that we can see in the highlights. Observe how we've lost the detail in the shadows. This is the image that the camera sensor captured. This is the five exposure blended image. It more closely approximates what our eyes would have seen in that scene where we're standing there because our eyes are able to resolve the details that we've seen in shadows as well as the details that we see in highlights whereas your camera sensor isn't able to do that. So you lose detail somewhere if you expose for detail elsewhere in the picture. So there you have it.